Thierry Henry praised Rasmus Hodgland. Manchester United faced Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Losing by one point against a team like Bayern Munich, which is in great form, is not seen as a very bad situation. When we look at the Bayern Munich match, we can say that we made a lot of mistakes. If it wasn't for those mistakes, maybe it wouldn't have been so difficult to beat Bayern Munich in Germany. Speaking to BT Sport after the match, Thierry Henry praised Rasmus Hodgland. He really showed a good performance against a tough opponent like Bayern Munich. When I look at him, I see myself in him, he will certainly develop further and will not disappoint those who call him the new Holland, Thierry Henry said of Rasmus Hodgland after the match. Actually I agree with Thierry Henry and Rasmus Hodgland will definitely double this performance as he gets used to the team. So what is your opinion on this? How did you find Manchester United's performance? Eric Ten Hag should start Alejandro Garnacho versus Burnley after lively cameo. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag should consider starting Alejandro Garnacho during Saturday's late Premier League kickoff against Burnley at Turf Moor. United have no time to ponder over the result, given the short turnaround time before the Burnley trip. Ahead of the game, Ten Hag is bound to consider a few changes to the starting lineup and in our opinion, Garnacho should make the 11 against the Clarets. The United graduate started the first two games of the season, but he has since played just 20 minutes of normal time for the Red Devils across all competitions. Against Bayern, he replaced Facundo Palistri in the 81st minute and had a lively cameo. The 19-year-old won three out of his four duels contested and induced three fouls from the opposition. One of those won the free kick which led to Casemiro's consolation goal in stoppage time. The 25 euros million rated wonder kid also made one interception and should have found the net after Marcus Rashford's dangerous cross from the right flank for him. In our view, Garnacho deserves to make his first start for United since August 19 when they travel to Lancashire to face Vincent Kompany's side on Saturday. It is quite obvious that Ten Hag won't consider dropping Rashford at any stage. Polistri will most likely make way for Garnacho to get the nod in the starting lineup. This would mean a positional change for Rashford the Englishman could operate from the right flank to accommodate Garnacho on the left wing as seen in yesterday's game. From what we have judged, Rashford looks much comfortable crossing the ball from the right wing. Ten Hag should trial by starting both Garnacho and Rashford this weekend. Manchester United to monitor Antonio Nusa playing in the Europa League. Manchester United are expected to send officials for Thursday's Europa League group stage clash between Club Brugge and Besiktas, according to HLN. The Red Devils had a productive summer transfer window where they spent nearly £180 million on seven players. Rasmus Hodgland was the most high-profile signing from Atlanta. The club are already planning for future transfer windows and HLN claim that officials from the club will be in attendance to watch Nusa in action for Club Brugge against Besiktas. The Norwegian youngster is considered as one of the best young talents in the Belgian Pro League, and Chelsea made a late approach to sign him this summer without success. United are now planning a scouting mission on the teenager, but they are not alone with the Blues, Arsenal, Atletico Madrid, Marseille and Borussia Dortmund set to watch him. The 18-year-old is a left winger by trade, but he has the ability to play up front or on the right wing. This season, he has been excellent for Brugge with two goals and three assists from just 11 appearances. Aside from his goal involvements, the wonder kid has caught eye with several other aspects. He has completed a stunning four dribbles per game, winning over two tackles. The youngster is also strong in challenges. He has won an impressive eight duels per outing. Hence, Nusa can be described as a versatile winger who likes to contribute defensively. 
A £23 million bid from Chelsea was not enough to persuade Brugge to sell this summer. United may have to spend big if they want to price him away from the Bruges-based club. Manchester United honchos overruled Ten Hag in pursuit of English superstar. Manchester United hierarchy vetoed Eric Ten Hag in the pursuit of Harry Kane. The Athletic reports that Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag desired to sign Harry Kane but the club's hierarchy vetoed the deal. United's co-owner Joel Glazer and chief executive Richard Arnold pushed against the deal for the forward. The England captain was reportedly seeking a £30 million per year contract at the Red Devils. Tottenham Hotspur, on the other hand, wanted more than a £100 million transfer fee for their legendary forward. Bundesliga club Bayern Munich bought Kane for £86 million initial price plus add-ons as Rasmus Hodgland signed for United. The 30-year-old has made an instant impact at Bayern scoring four goals and providing one assist in just five games. The Danish international has a lot of pressure on his young shoulder due to the price tag and normally high expectation that surrounds the club. We hope that pundits and fans who are eagerly quick to criticize will give the youngster ample space and time to nurture his immense talent. Manchester United failed with £50 million summer bid for 18-year-old Premier League sensation. Manchester United chief faced ridicule following a £50 million bid for Evan Ferguson. Manchester United chief John Murdo felt humiliated as Brighton and Hove Albion mockingly shrugged off the club's £50 million bid for Evan Ferguson, according to ESPN. The Red Devils had a list of strikers in mind during the summer transfer window before they signed Rasmus Hodgland for £72 million. United boss Eric Ten Hag wanted to bring in a striker as a priority as the club struggled to get goals last season. The Red Devils had the least number of goals among the top six clubs last season with just 58 goals. Ferguson had an incredible breakthrough campaign for Brighton last season at just 18 years of age. The forward scored 10 goals in 25 appearances he made while producing three assists. The Irish international has also scored four goals while featuring in the five games played so far this season. Brighton have earned the reputation of getting the maximum value from their assets whenever they decide to sell. There is no way they would have sold the 18-year-old wonder kid for just £50 million given how inflated the market was. Ferguson has had a tremendous start to the new season for Brighton. It's uncertain which top club will come for the Irishman and when he will decide to move on. The 18-year-old is sure to have many top European clubs competing for his services in the future.